This is the Yumani Yano here in Georgetown. Now, in terms of the management of COVID-19, three very important things are being done here. The first is persons who believe that they might have been infected with a novel coronavirus can come here and get a public PCR test. Additionally, those individuals who have taken tests can come here to uplift their results. And thirdly, individuals who had COVID or who tested for COVID or to see whether they've had COVID can come here for what is known as a clearance form to present to their employer. Now to focus specifically on these clearance forms, these clearance forms are usually presented to employers to show that one of two things, that either you have recovered from COVID-19 after you would have tested positive about 10 to 14 days ago and you would have spent some of that time in quarantine or that you tested negative for COVID-19 and as such you can return to work. With the Omicron variant of the coronavirus surging through Guyana, it has led to some concerns. And that is, as you can see behind me, numerous persons are congregating to either get the results, get a test or get those clearance forms. And that has presented a challenging situation for health authorities to manage. In fact, one individual who came here about 10 days ago to get a test has not even been able to get his test result as yet. And when he spoke to the newsroom on Tuesday, he said that he was actually able to get a clearance form instead of just his test result because so many days have elapsed since he took that test. There, my results initially apparently wasn't there with the girl who was checking through the records and my results are not there. But what could happen, but what could happen is that they're going to give me, um, they're going to give me the 14 days sick sick leave because I almost cover 14 days since I last tested. So whether I had COVID or not, that would that would clear because within 10 to 14 days it's supposed to be out of your system. So even if I don't receive my results, I have already quarantined for that 14 days. Because of the sheer number of people here and the long waiting times that people have complained about, the newsroom engaged the Minister of Health, Dr. Frank Antony, on the situation here at the Umane Yano. And on Tuesday, during his daily COVID-19 update, this is what he had to say. Not everybody that is showing up at the testing site need to get a PCR. The ministry is now going to do PCR only for people who are hospitalized or persons who would come to one of the A&E or outpatient clinics and the clinicians there decide that this person need a PCR. Or if somebody is working in a high risk setting and requires a PCR, then we'll do the PCR. It is not yet clear how these new measures that the minister has spoken about will be rolled out and it's not yet clear how that will affect the services that people can access, that is the testing and then the clearance form services. However, that information is expected to be presented within the next few days. Reporting for the newsroom from the Umaniana in Georgetown, I am Fishani Ragabir.